Welcome to CapCut video editing tutorial series. This is the first video of CapCut video editing series. As it is the first video, so today I will teach you the basics of CapCut video editing. Let's get start the video. If you have CapCut installed in your desktop, you can open it. Or if you don't have, you can download it from CapCut official website. It's 100% free. Just go to CapCut website and download it. When you open CapCut, you will see an interface like this. Here you can see auto reframe and create option. These are the CapCut AI feature. I will talk about them in my next videos. For now, let's start by clicking on create a new project. This is the main interface of CapCut. Here in the top, you can see media, audio, texts, stickers, effects, transitions, filters, and adjustment. I will talk about all of them step by step. On the right side, you can see the local, library, and brand assets. In local, all of your imported file will be available. In library option, you will find all of CapCut stock files. And in the brand assets, you will get all of your uploaded files in CapCut web dashboard. Now, let's start video editing by importing files. To import any video or audio file, just click on this import icon and then select any video from folder. There is another option to import video. Go to a folder where your video is and just select the video and drag it to CapCut. See, it's very simple to import any files to CapCut. Now, at the bottom, this is the timeline option. To edit any video, we have to add it to here in timeline. To add a video to timeline, just select and drag it to here. Now, here is one video in timeline. If I want to add another video, just do the same thing, select and drag it to timeline. If I want to create a gap between these two video, I will just click on this icon. See, now I can move the video to anywhere. To join the video again, drag it to here, or just click on this icon, it will join the video together like magnet. Now let me show you how to cut video. I want to cut this video in this position for this. I will put the cursor at this point where I want to cut the video, and then just click on this split icon or press Ctrl plus B from your keyboard. At this position, I want to add another cut. Again, same step, just click on split icon or press Ctrl plus B. Now, if you want to delete any part of the video, just select the part you want to delete. Then click on this delete icon or press delete button from keyboard. Very simple. But there is one thing I don't want when I delete the video. It joining to the next part. I don't want it. I want to create a gap between footages. For this, just turn off main track magnet option from here or press P from keyboard. Now if I delete this part, it's not joining. I want to add an image in this gap. For this, import an image to CapCut and then drag it to the timeline. To fit the image in the gap, I need to cut it. For this, place the cursor in this point where I want to cut then click on delete right icon or press W from keyboard. Now I can drag it and put it in the gap. In CapCut, there is another option to replace footage from timeline. I want to replace this footage for this. Select the footage you want to replace, then right click on your mouse, select replace clip. Now go to your folder and select the footage you want to add. After that, you can select which part of that video you want to add, then click OK. See? footage is replaced. And nice music can make your video better, but I don't have any music in this project. So, let's import music. For this, click on import icon, then select your music you want to import. Now drag the music to timeline, below a video layer. All of audio file you add the project will be available at the below a video layer. I want to start the music from this position. For this, I need to cut the music at this point. Put the cursor where you want to cut and click in delete left icon or press Q from keyboard. Now drag the music at the start point of video. You can see the audio file is longer than video footage. So I need to delete the last part of music for this. Go to at the end position of video, then click on delete right icon. Extra part of the music is deleted. Now I need to fade in the music so that music start with low volume and then slowly its volume will be increased. For this, select the music file in the right side of CapCut Will you find the option basic. Here drag the fade in slider to the right. Now at this position, I want to make the music volume zero. For this, select the audio file 
then go to Volume, create a keyframe here, then Forward View Frame, drag the Volume slider to the left side, again Forward View Frame, and drag the slider to previous position. Now if I zoom the timeline, see? At this position, audio volume is zero, and it start again from here. Now let's add fade out effects, for this select the audio, then drag the fade out slider to little bit right side. Fade out effects is applied. This was it for today. In the next video, I will discuss about increase and decrease video speed, more about audio volume, and how to make slow motion and fast forward video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.